So today we're going to learn about, what's it called? Aloe. Aloe vera. And it's a plant um, in Florida. And it's very, very large down here. And Isabel is going to show you how to take off the pricker pit. I got my ears pricker pit. <laughs> <laughs> it's really so funny. <laughs> All right, so here, you show us how to take off the side things. I got my ears. Mm -hmm. This is something I didn't know. Want me to tell, mm -hmm. them, want me to tell them? Yeah, go ahead and explain yep. Ashton while she's Why doing Why is she this. doing that, Ashton? So you can, you can put it on your, no. See, like, if you stop, you can stop. You. Ethan, Ashton, why is she taking off this first? So you don't get grip. Oh, okay. Take off the other side. So it helps with sunburns and frostbite. Frostbite. And rashes. rashes. Really? Wait, how are you going to get frostbite if you live in Florida? Stop you then. Uh, and what she's doing the other with? side. What else does it help with, Isabel? Your heart. Helps with your heart. You can your eat skin. It. Your skin, we just said that, yep. And it helps with your sick. If you're your sick, sick, yep, it helps your immune system. So it has lots of um, vitamins in it. I need that, I need that, I need that for the thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is, we're going to cut it down the middle. That's why you're funny. We're going to cut it down the middle, and there's actually, it's like the That's meat one. of the aloe vera in the middle super part. super weird. Just like you. So why is it called the meat? Tell me how why it's called the meat, Ethan. I don't know. I'm asking you. Well, it's this flabby. is the part that you can actually eat. And you can add it to a shake. So what you do is, this is all slimy, and you can wipe it on your skin. <laughs> you can wipe it on your skin, and it's good for your skin. That's enough. That's enough? That's okay. And then we're going we're gonna to take the knife, and we're going to take it and slice it down the middle. Why well, can't you slice it down the center? We're going to scrape it. I don't think you're going to scrape it. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Would you call yourself a professional aloe Ethan. vera? No, this is um, for school. I don't know what you We're doing it. this for school. So all of this is full of antioxidants. No, what do scaring any, me with what the what your, antioxidants do for you? They help your body to fight off diseases. It helps your immune system. And how does it do that? You're just making you explain it. how it does it. Well, you just actually did a paper on it, so why don't you explain it to me? Well, I just wrote down all the facts. So oh, you did? Well, why don't you explain to me, Ethan, since you're... Tell us the facts. No, I wrote down what it does to your body, not how it does it. So. What I does it do? I can't... It, it, <laughs> there you go. Ethan wrote a report on it today. I wrote a report on it. So tell me okay. what it says, Ethan. All right, it says, uh, aloe vera helps grow your mother's onions. Even, come on. <laughs> now, aloe vera has many antioxidant vitamins, such as vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, plus, and vitamin B12. Wow. It also, it also has folic acid and chlorine. Is that, is that what you're doing? Keep going. Keep breathing. All right. It also has, yeah, folic it's about movie hand, baby. It also has many enzymes such as alias alkaline. Oh yeah, alias alkaline, which al alkaline Stop phosphate, which means your body, your body's pH level can uh, fight off p diseases. Yep. pH stands for potential of hydrogen. We didn't know that. I actually researched this because I'm a smart boy. <laughs> So yeah, your body can fight off uh, diseases, and uh, aloe vera helps you do that by consuming it, I believe. You're cool. So yeah, this is all the facts on it and how you can use it. You can also eat it by blending it into your shakes, and yeah, it helps your alkaline level, which means fight off diseases. So. Wow, mm. that's pretty cool. Do you like it, Isabel? What have you been doing with the aloe plant, Isabel, for daddy? Um,
pinning on your back. Cause why? Cause you have really bad rashes and it, it they're sunburns. Sunburns. Sunburns and uh, and they're uh, bubbling. So I've been getting sunburn and then you you put that on my back and shoulders and it feels really good and it actually helps but it heal my really legs quick. Legs were really um, red and my. Yeah, you see your arms? Yeah, they look way better. Do you know yeah. how it helps you heal? And my arms were And Ashton's been helping me a lot too with that. Right, Ashton? It's because he's working. Whenever I get hot, home hot and I'm really sunburnt, I'm like, Ashton, go cut me some plants. Here. He knows what's going on. I'll put some on you right now. Oh, she's going to help me out right now. Do you know how it helps your skin now? Because it has the vitamin C. And taking too much vitamin C. Oh, that's super sticky. Actually, I don't know how it helps you. I, know, I know it's some vitamin that has it in it, but then your skin you get my shoulder up here, baby. Because you're getting too much vitamin D. Where's awesome. Vitamin all right, well, there we go. There's a whole bunch of it on that plate. It's hard to see, but it's there.